song, isn't it? Buddy Clark, is it? Yes, it is. Jibitra Swill. Uh, we've got Mike McCall Jones on, the writer from IMT and all those shows, uh, paying tribute to Digby Wolf, who passed away, Phil. Yes, good evening to you, Mike. Hello, Philip, and hello, Mr. Shiny Pan. Yes, we yeah, Mike. How are you? Oh, good. Just, uh, may I have your indulgence? I promised our grandson, Max, Max McCall Jones, that I'd mention him before he went to bed. He's a student at Burke Hall, yeah. and now Max, you can go. Just a moment before you go to bed, Max, and before you say anything more, oh. what age would Max be? Eleven. Because he was a babe in arms the last time I saw him. Yes, and so were you, Bruce, almost. <laughs> I was too, you're right. Bruce, I thought of you the other day. I was driving along and I saw a man in a wheelchair crossing a road. <laughs> <laughs> and you went a beeline for him. And I thought... This reminds me so much of that time Bruce was talking to me and not looking ahead. That's <laughs> right. Hello, uh, Philip. Uh, Mike, I'm just back from uh, an expedition on the Orion. And do you know something, Philip? I can always tell who you are indebted to from the number of mentions that they get in your little travelogues. And I'd like to point out that Nigel has got 678 mentions so far. <laughs> oh, no, well, we, uh, I assure you, I, we paid our way. You'd know that. Oh, I, I would know that, Philip. And, and, I mean, just because I did Anzac Day for them and Blankety Blanks doesn't mean it was a freebie. Of course not. And, by the way, that gentleman's hand you held on to... Yes. ...was the Archbishop of Perth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Now, uh, on a serious note, we were very saddened by the passing of Big B. Yes, I didn't know him very well. I met him a few times, but he he made his mark. He was English. He was born in 29, 1929, and he made his mark in a show that you would both remember. That was the week that was, which was almost the cutting edge for comedy shows on television in England. Yes. And he came out here and did a, a great series of variety show, um, Review 60 and 61. Yes. Which, Philip, you might remember, was in the days when GDV in Melbourne aligned with ATN7 in Sydney. Certainly. And vice versa, so that it was on 7 and 9, virtually, as we know it. Yes, and, and do you both remember that it was Digby Wolf who um, doubled for Cary Grant in the movie Father Goose? It was actually Digby Wolf who sang... Pass me by. No, and, I didn't and, and know that. Cary, Cary Grant, mind that. And I think that Cary, uh, Cary Grant. I think that Digby Wolf at one stage did. This is your life. Yes, he did. He did. In particular, he did um, Leonard Teal and Maggie Tabra. Mm -hmm. Yes. He did it in '76. But then he went to. Um, he, he went back to in, uh, to uh, Los Angeles, where he was living, and did a lot of shows like Bewitched, um, The Monsters, but co-created. Laughing, which yes. was a huge success. That's right. And worked with Chris Beard, whom you would, might remember, Rabina's brother. Yes, of course. Um, and then he went to live in Albuquerque, where he where he passed away last week. But he worked until last year, at the age of 83, um, as head of creative writing at the university there. And he put in a good innings, didn't he? he did oh, that. yes. And yeah. you know, Mike, as late as last Tuesday night, our mate Ted Hamilton was talking to Digby, who was uh, heavily sedated with morphine, and in a couple of hours... Yes, and in a couple of hours we'll talk to Ted about his memories. Well, Ted was the featured vocalist on Review 60 and 61. And remember the dancers they introduced, Carlu and Carlu Carter. What That's were they right. Nice? Carlu Carter and uh, uh, Bill, Bill McGrath. McGrath. Yes. Right. And, and yes. also the Claire Poole Singers. Oh, yeah. Was very and classy. that was sponsored by... Craven A, and they opened with a, a, a timpani of a, of a, of a, a drum. A, a timpani, that's exactly right, yes. Yeah. And there was a photo I saw today, actually, of Digby by that timpani with Review 61 on it. I think he's one of the smoothest TV compares we ever had. Yes, he was. Very he was uh, but, uh, but present company accepted, oh, of course. Yes. Because, oh. I mean, I remember both of you in your own way, but Mr. Shiny Pants in particular, <laughs> yes. who um, made mod uh, uh, modifications to his wardrobe so that nothing would crease or buckle. That's right, that's right. You had a slit right up the back. I did but, too, and, and the pants too. Oh, did you have a oh, yes, split? Yes. So, oh, did you? Yes. Was that drafty in the cold <laughs> no, there, Bruce? Yeah. Just for wide shots. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you were, weren't you? <laughs> and no wonder, and it was brushing so much, Mike. Mm.
Are they good? And they wonder, and that Alice and Bloss show often. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, thanks for your memories of Bigby. And, uh, okay. That's uh, right. It's always, always a tonic to talk to you. And it's lovely to talk to you, too. And, and sometime I'd recommend to you and Val and grandson Max an expedition on the Orion cruise ship. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Orion is gradually overtaking Nigel for the night. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Thanks very much, Mike. Good luck. Bye. I appreciate that very much. A, a little tribute to Digby Wolf. A lot of you wouldn't remember Digby, but mm. my gosh, there'd be a lot who would. Yeah. A great pioneer of uh, both American television, mm. British and Australian. Did you ever have the chance to meet him? Yes, I did. Oh, did you? A, I think he was oh. managing a comic in, in Adelaide, oh. and you'd know him, a red-headed comic, and he was wanting us to do radio together. Okay. On 3XY mornings. Right. And my memory of Digby was he was an impeccable dresser. Yeah. Always yeah. very sharp. And beautifully spoken and very refined. Yes. This is Remember When, and uh, we're back with more. And a big show.